Hi, I'm Ross, lifetime natural bodybuilder, and in this short compilation video, I'm gonna showcase some of the food that I've been eating over the past week or so. So it's predominantly Thai cuisine with some English food thrown in there, mostly healthy stuff. Don't get me wrong, I do eat some unhealthy food, but I'd say the bulk of it, the majority, is healthy home-cooked food. So typically, I'd have a very large lunch after the training session. It makes sense, this is when your appetite is at its peak. You feel, your body almost feels like a sponge, it's just soaking in all that food, and, um, you know, unfortunately, in the years gone by in the past, it hasn't been the case. I haven't been able to have a large sit-down meal. Um, I am now and quite enjoying it. The uh, dinners would be leftovers and I'll perhaps consume whatever's left for the breakfast the following day sometimes. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not rocket science. If you want to be bigger than the average person and carry more muscle mass than the average person, then at some point, you're probably going to have to eat more food on a regular basis than the average person. It becomes more important as your training journey continues. It's perhaps not as important when you first start out because your body is so sensitive to whatever training stimulus that you present it. If you're in my shoes, been training for a while, then it certainly becomes a lot more important and you really need to prioritize it. As a natural lifter, you've got less variables that you can manipulate to your advantage than an enhanced lifter, so it makes sense to get nutrition right. And you'd be amazed at the fantastic transformations that can take place, both short-term and especially long-term, when you wisely manipulate your food intake especially when combined with a solid resistance training protocol. It baffles my mind how people continue to take steroids without actually getting the basics right of training, recovery, and food, all the while attempting to achieve a physique that's perfectly attainable. As a natural, most people want to look like you know, a top level natural. They'd be happy to look like that and have that level of muscularity that they feel that they need steroids to achieve this. And it's very unfortunate how the industry has become like this, that youngsters feel they need it. It's essential to the bodybuilding journey. It doesn't have to be like that. Um, so I'm gonna leave you the rest of these video clips. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. I'll be doing a squat video very soon. Uh, don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe to see more, and click on the little bell icon to be made aware of any videos I upload automatically to the uh, notifications. Check out my Instagram as well. The link is in the description box below. Stay strong.